Hi viewers, this is Let's Play Abandonware. Uh, set the hostages free. We're still in 1981 with this one. Uh, it's very interesting to see that it gives you this option for color versus mono display. Computers were just starting to transition from the green flashing bar to having a bit more complex information that they could display. Uh, we are definitely using a color monitor at the moment. Uh, please indicate difficulty level, difficulty level. I'm assuming that private is the easiest of the three. I had a go at general and it didn't seem terribly different. Uh, it plays a nice little rendition of Streets of Cairo here for an intro music. Fairly new concept. And while this is a rather crude sort of graphical setup, you can kind of guess what's going on here. You're outside the walls and there's people inside the walls that you need to uh, supposedly save. Um, you navigate around the arrow keys around this block outside. Um, you'll notice here that um, the everything else is stopping when you move. This is to do with you know interrupt based um, CPUs. You can only do one one sort of thing at a time. Um, it's also going very fast, and I'm assuming that it's a bit faster than what it's supposed to be back in the day. Uh, in this these sorts of games, the uh, they were only designed to run on the one computer and so the speed of the game was entirely based on how fast the clock of the CPU went and so if you if you now play it at a faster cycle rate the games speed up quite a bit so I'm going to try and change the frame skip here and see if it gets a bit more uh, usable essentially I'm just guessing what speed it should really be I mean past a certain point it's going to be too easy if we slow it down too much but if it's too fast I can't do it We'll see how that goes. Uh, it's counting moves on the side here. Um, it doesn't really have any effect on on the gameplay. It's just to uh, give you a sort of indicator of, of what your score is. So you can press the spacebar to fire off a little bullet. And you've got to try and get it through the... Uh, through the little flashing square that's going around the outside. This is much easier said than done. Especially because as soon as you fire the bullet, it decides to freeze up. Uh, even if you spam it, everything lags a little bit. I might slow it down just a little bit more just so you can see what happens uh, when you get the bullet in. Down to my last shot, let's make this count. Okay, so I've lost a life, we're on to my next guy. Now you've got three lives total, three heroes, and you get 15 shots before you lose one of those. Well, that one almost went in. I'll stay here. We need to go for it when it's just at the far right of the faces, I think. Still going a bit too early. Getting closer. There we go. Okay, so it gives you a little Legend of Zelda sort of victory tone there, and it goes one space in through the walls. You got to do this three times in the one spot. And make a make a line through. There we go, this another one in. And once you achieve that, that pushes through all the faces, and you have freed now five hostages. Um, a new feature that gets added once you do that, you can see a little asterisk moving around the outside, that'll kill you if you hit it. And so as well as trying to line up our shots, we've got to dodge that fella. And he moves actually quite fast and can change direction fairly erratically as well. So he's very dangerous. But finally the, uh, the, the freezing is working to our advantage, the lag. And it means that we can get away from him, no worries.
but yeah, I don't think I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this one. I'll, I'll show you what happens when you die. Turn into a, a pink O. Classic death animation, and we'll just uh, we'll run this guy out so we can look at the end. If I can get that thing to actually fight me. Shows you how good I am at this game. I can't even die if I if I want to. Okay, so game over. We get a bit of a reprise. Um, my score is, I guess, based off the combination of both moves and how many hostages you set free. Um, not a whole lot to it, but it's it's fairly difficult. I imagine even when it was working properly on its original machine, it would have been a, a fairly uh, tricky skill shot sort of game, especially once more and more enemies get added uh, as you go through the levels, as you free more hostages. So that's, uh, that's set the hostages free. Um, next time we'll be moving on to games from 1982, get a little bit more interesting, but still fairly crude. So please keep watching and, and please subscribe if you like what you've seen so far.